For releases, they can't just stop them. I know. It's so annoying. Alright, let's get into Man of Madon. Um, Jason, you'll get to see how incredible this fucking game, these games look on this damn graphics card. You'll be able to see it for yourself in a second here. Um, let me go ahead and put this up here. Again, I have no idea. Um, I am going to... I do want to kind of sit back today, but at the same time, I don't know if I should. So. Okay. Um, all right. Let me pull this up here. Um, Man of Madon. Okay, so we'll copy that to the clipboard. Now, I've already played Man of Madon once. Um, so... There we go. This is a let's kill everyone run. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I don't know what this run's gonna be. To be honest with you, Jason, that's not the worst idea. I've done worse. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, one second, guys. Uh, that was my, um, manager. Just wanted to make sure I was okay. It was good. Okay. Um. Let me see how this looks on your end. Doesn't look terrible. Could have been worse. I mean, I'm just... Graphics. Mm. I mean, we could try windowed full screen and see if that works better. I've heard that works better, though. HDR off, limit frame rate to 30. No. What's going on, Red? How you doing? Good to see you. Um, If this ends up being too loud, whatever. It's okay.
It looks really good on my end. Okay. Full screen uh, windowed mode it is. <laughs> that looks so much better. And plays so much better. Okay, hold on one second. Am I unplugging something and plugging it back in and I don't know what it is? <sighs> you know, whatever. My stream deck can fuck off. <laughs> I've been having problems with the stream deck with this motherboard for a bit, so... Um, it just, for some reason, every time I take it out of sleep mode, it decides to go ahead and just... Shit the bed. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go, it works. Close to the sun? No, I have not. I've heard of that game, though. I've definitely heard of that one. Alright, play alone. Yeah, so this is the one I had before. Um, let's do a new story. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. This game is going to... Um, I don't know what this playthrough is going to be like. I've already played through this game once. Um, the, it genuinely takes around three to four hours, so we should be able to get through the first one tonight. Hopefully. Uh, we'll do it in a new slot as well. And... There's actually a curator's cut. I believe it there. It's an... It's a... It's, it's a chronological timeline order as opposed to the theatrical cut which makes a little bit more sense oh i'd heard of that mikey yes i'd heard that it was an alternate reality uh let's do the theatrical cut that was the original cut that came with the game so let's just do that um i will adjust the volume accordingly right now it sounds very quiet but i'm sure that will change You guys get to see how good ultra graphics looks on games like this. The graphics for these games are nuts. Absolutely nuts. Fallout? <laughs> Jason, have you ever played this one? You ever seen this one? Sorry. I hit the wrong button. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Stop. The presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You Okay. 
Okay, it sounds quiet, but I know it's not gonna stay quiet, so. God damn. Alright, um. Um. Let's see here. So. This is the pathing in this game, so. Let's do Curious. Uh, I guess I just wanna know about my son. Will he, uh. Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Uh, bamboo or dragon? Last time I chose dragon. Let's this time let's choose bamboo. Tell me what you see. Alright. Right trigger and then use that. A it, fish! It looks like a fish? Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. So the um <laughs> oh god. That was fast. Oh god. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't Why am I wasting my time on these on, idiots? Let me ask Good question. question. We really need to get back. There's the mysterious Pandora's box. So the cool thing about the um, the dark pictures is that all of the um, the games are unrelated to each other. They're just like a series of horror stories. I don't know if they're all connected somehow, but as far as I'm concerned, I don't think they are. I think they're just all these different stories, so.
father in the brig and keep him there. All that for getting drunk? It's a little harsh. This is where the graphics just out of this world, man. This is where it really goes. How are you, Red? What's going on? Good to see you. And now it's spreading. God damn it. See, this is what I'm talking about. It, it, it. Okay, so the sound effects need to go down like 10, but everything else needs to stay up. All right, sick bay time. Ugh, this is what I'm talking about. The detail in like the sweat and stuff is just so cool. All right, so this is the part that I was talking about. So I don't remember if there is a way. So in in until dawn, there's a way to make it so that it used to be that it was just the letterbox format, and then they changed it so that you could take away the letterbox when you're playing it. Um, I don't know if this game has... Let me see here really fast before we continue. I don't remember if there's a way to do this. If there's not, it's okay. No, so apparently it was, um, apparently it's made for that aspect ratio, I guess, I don't know. Okay. I couldn't remember if there was a way to eliminate some of it or not. Alright, um... Um, uh, I don't remember what the, uh... ...plot is here. Oh, right, that. What the hell? Well, he's dead. One more second here. I'm gonna turn the... the sound effects down even further, actually. Yikes.
I mean, I think what gets me the most with these is the facial expressions. They're just insane. I mean, look at that. I mean, he actually looks legitimately, like, like very terrified or very confused, I should say. You know, in, in the Until Dawn stuff, um, it's not, like, it's not bad. It's just not as realistic anymore. At the time, it was revolutionary, but now... This is actually more realistic now, I think. In my opinion. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Oh, just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. No kidding, something's wrong. It's still a little jank. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, he's got a gun. <laughs> right, I forgot about this part. This is something new they added. Kind of mesmerizing in a way. I'm going to assume that that gets harder in later games. detail is incredible even like on like the fucking shirts the shirts are all wrinkled and all that i mean it's crazy uh, what was that was that a kid i don't remember what happens in this game by the way if you haven't been able to tell um So you can do this game in co-op as well, and then it gives you the ability to... Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and then son. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, Fubar means <laughs> fucked up beyond all repair. <laughs> I am going to turn <laughs> the volume down for the music just a little bit. Okay. Come on, man! Oh, God damn it. Done. There. God damn. Another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. So the part that makes this game weird is there's like a bunch of like possession going on, as you can clearly tell. He's like, looks like he has been completely eradicated from his soul kind of thing going on. You'll see what I mean in a sec.
nothing there. At least they give us an option to walk faster. So, uh... Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. What's gonna happen? Fuck hey, damn it. Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? his son. Charlie, Look at all these here. dead people. See what I mean? They all look like they've had their souls sucked out of them. It's so weird. So Charlie just got uh, annihilated. like five arms. No. 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 I love how people I love it when people put a cross like out there. Ow. So begins. Oh, it's such a good song. Won't you spare me over till another
Oh, this is such a good song. I love this song so much. Probably get all like muted by Twitch, but that's okay. <laughs> Still worth it now to play it. Hello. Hello. Welcome <laughs> to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax True. one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made <laughs> I love it when you say things like that or whatever mess you've made <laughs> Oh, this looks so much better on the new graphics card than I did on my old one. Like, it was, like, all blurry in the back. Ugh. Brad. Alex. Alex is the hot one in this game. Or supposed to be enough? the hot one. If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kinda, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I'm just gonna say nothing. Mm. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? It's my brother. Who cares? Yep. Right on cue. <laughs> what? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Relationship updated. So this is a thing, too, with Until Dawn, um, for those of you who don't know. Uh, truthful, witty, innocent, and anxious. That's, yeah, it's a mood. <laughs> hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! <laughs> These faces, man. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah, uh, TB. Uh, let's like I lay off that. I have a thing with uh, hey, seasickness. Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Uh, fine. One. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. <laughs> you ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Uh. <laughs> gonna pop your cherry? Ugh. Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Impatient. I love that. Yes, Mikey. <laughs> I'd invite Apparently. you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Okay, bye, Jason. See you, Larry. Later. <laughs> that comment distracted me. Sorry. <laughs> Have a good uh, night, man. I'll be here. You're selling. I'm buying. Oh, the graphics for this game are so good. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. 
You know, maybe I should. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. I love seasickness. What about yeah. been there, done Over that? Here. Have the T-shirt. That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Nice awkward transition. <laughs> oh, man. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss! We found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, let's just say nothing here. Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Oh, he's got a butt? Wow, okay. Um, I, didn't, I did not realize that these, um, these, uh, uh these spandex. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. I'm gonna pop out or something. Seem to be anything there. Not that I can see anyway. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hmm. Interesting preview of what we're going to be go about to go down to, so. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Whoa, honey. Just don't force her hand. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Okay. <sighs> Evening. Hi. <laughs> you know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... 
We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. I'm an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I was gonna say nothing. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Woo! Yes, ma'am. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. Might wanna just let it do its thing. Okay, how's my bro doing? All oh, the reflections too. Good God, man. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. All right. I don't want to have a bad relationship with my brother. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Dude, tanks are ready when you are. All right, if you insist, let's go. <laughs> Anything else? Nope, all right. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, hold on. Hold up. No. Nope. Go back down. No. Nope. Stop. Go back down. Come on. There's a picture right there. Let's see it before. Huh. What am I looking at here? These are important. I want to collect them all. And the game is like almost maybe not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to collect every single one, but we'll find out in a second, won't we? <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you normally regular. just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Uh, thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what's sent me straight. You well, behave, Connie. It's not my character. These are all my characters. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. I love how she's like. Just remember the rules, this please! Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? I got a bank stick. Apollo! Oh, what about you? Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On All a right. shark? Nope. 
Apollo, what's up? Good to see ya. Thanks so much for the 27 month resub. Man, we're at two years and three months already. What's going on? Miss you, man. I I miss hanging with you. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. Just testing oh, Man of Madon. Yeah. Um, More or less. What's it called? Um, I just got a 4090, so I'm literally just like seeing what looks great and what looks Twins normal, so but tight. everything looks great she so far, so. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. Yeah, this is my first time, time through them, so. Anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way. Yeah, I've never played these. They're really fun Damn. so far. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. The Duke of Milan. Howdy, Captain. <laughs> you fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Um, Apollo, what you been playing? Playing anything fun lately? Weather looks clear. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Pokemon? Nice. I actually got back into Sword so I could finish it. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. <sighs> wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, how is... Scarlet, I'm assuming that it's buggy. <laughs> I'm gonna say I hear something. Still a fun Pokemon game? Well, that's good.
How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope Did you get Scarlet or Violet? Time of their lives I'm curious. Down there. Uh... I hope they know what they're doing down there. Violet, nice. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Um, it's clearly telling me to use this. Oh. Another picture. Oh, whoa. What is with these ominous shipwreck pictures in her ship? Why do I keep these around? <laughs> like, seriously, like, we're on a boat. <laughs> she should not be... This lever is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make a personal loan. The loan holds a remainder of $24,000 with a sum of $3,481 payable by August 1st in 2019. Oof, that's a big loan. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Oh dear. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. He is such an idiot. <laughs> Seriously. The first thing I the cat the first thing she said was shut up and let me handle it. said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh, 
Oh god. Whoa, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. All right, let's uh, actually go ahead. Oh. Take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Um. I don't want to do anything stupid, so. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. This is really cool. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Here comes my, here comes the end of a boom. Ugh. Ugh. He's Get holding back. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. What the heck? They knew they were goners. He's holding something. Oh, I already saw this. Hold on. Else? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Fucking Ugh. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should go. But to be honest with you, I feel like I shouldn't be leaving because he's still there. But hold on. Maybe there's something else I'm missing. Doesn't seem like it. The only other thing I can think of. Is what was above here. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it.
Oh dear lord. <clears throat> something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that chill out i'm fine see no problemo <laughs> just chill out man <laughs> this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base they were on their way to help out a ship oh that shit. We gotta get out of here now. <gasps> Dark. Oh God, Alex. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. <laughs> but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I. I. Oh crap. Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. <laughs> Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> Aww. All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Everything is probably fine. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. What the grill. hell is going on? What the hell happened? Fucking grill. It's cool, man. <laughs> Everything's all right now. <laughs> there was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. <laughs> can everyone shut up for a second? <laughs> oh man. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. 
both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. <laughs> Very. And there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. You're doing very well. Well, that's about to change. Probably. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? <laughs> Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So... How does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. Yeah, so, no pun intended. <laughs> I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. So you can walk all over me? <laughs> I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. <laughs> just love the way she's like, I'm sorry for my brother being a horny idiot. <laughs> it's what straight men do best. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving. Mm. Not just straight men. Yeah, no, gay men are very much a victim of that too, actually, now that I look at it. Why'd you do it on the dime? It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I never thought you were the settling type. Proud These are really good pictures. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, bro. I told me to follow my heart. Bro, uh, one, I'm not bro. that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Bro. Still. Bro over the top, bro. Yeah, bro. God, I so, fucking hate this. We're going again tomorrow. That's so cool that we found the bullet, though. Yeah, seemed a little too dangerous. 
This is so awesome. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. I'm working on that. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. OK, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there, and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe <laughs> I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're Oof. not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Sure. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's Ooh. respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. Oh, man. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked <laughs> in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. 
horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue <laughs> regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. <clears throat> Okay then. <laughs> this part is hard. So I'm really hoping that I can do this correctly. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't remember this pretty part of the game. <laughs> The guy from the boat. Getting you worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Guys. 
get untied. Right now. Oh, shit. That's no good. Come on. I was like, okay. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go Great. fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. What do you plan on doing? This parts of the game always make me stressed. Very stressed. You your best behavior, little man. Just gonna say nothing. I don't want to provoke anybody, but I'm just gonna say nothing. Got hit hard. Wait, wait, no! <gasps> Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick! Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. my brother no I didn't I hope he's all right all right turn around don't let them see your hands once we get Julia back maybe we can take him by surprise okay they're coming Want. Hmm. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. to wait and see what they want to do with us. Yeah, nothing else we can do, really. Got a gun. 
Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused. Shit. And get All right, this the is the part I need to pay attention okay, there. Let's do it. Last time I got, I think I got someone killed last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. B. B. Oh, fuck. Okay. Why? Shit. Oh, they didn't go. We can't catch him with this old junker. Last time I did that, I fucking Bring killed him. him. God damn it. Take this. Use it if you have to. Woo! Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen! Come here! Okay. Feel good about this playthrough. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Which one of Maybe you is going to tell me about this? Manchurian gold. Connie can take care of himself. All right, shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. Put a cork in it. Ouch. Sit still, all of you. 
you. Come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do I do? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Say nothing. Okay, listen. I have a plan. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Yeah, I agree with that actually. Whee! <laughs> and that is just the funny part. Oh look! It's a boat! Wonder what boat that is! <laughs> Boom! They not hear them? They're like right there. What's up, Jobo? How you Everyone's doing? Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? We're gonna have to find out because I've never played it with him not there, so we're gonna have kind to find out. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. 
Anyway, now that you've oh, reached I know the point of significant to. <laughs> distress, how's, how's it going, Bromo? I presume it, you're eager your to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <laughs> <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Getting cat in fear from working from home? Oh, I feel that one. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Once we get to a point where we can pause, I'm gonna take a second to just take a break. Shit. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this ship's been here a while. <laughs> yeah, I feel that with the needing to get out more, bro. That's how I felt last year. All right, I'm gonna take a quick second to just take a, a quick break. Uh, I'm gonna go and get a refill here, and uh, then we're gonna continue to have a nice, lovely playthrough. So uh, I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Hello, hello. Um, okay. Let's, uh, continue onward, shall we? Um, also, that sound was a weird sound. I don't know what that was for, but... Um... Jovo, I am in a good mood, so... I don't know, I'm in a very good mood, so here you go. <laughs> Give it one this sec. There we go. You don't want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. Enjoy your emotes, my friend. I just felt like- I just felt like doing it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, let's keep going with this, uh, horror story, shall we? Oh, thank you. Well, you have some really nice pride emotes. I love that. Cet endroit, c'est un foutu cimetière. J'espère qu'on est les seuls ici. Oh, they're all barefoot too. Oh, that's not going to be good for Rust. Whole place is a floating death trap. Man, this place is um, dark, very, very dark. My HDR monitor is making this very realistically dark. <laughs> All the gay stuff. <laughs> nice. If it's not gay... God damn it, man. Just loud noises. Oh, hello. Not even scary, it's just the loud noises. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Oh, Miller! Oh, it's the guy that died at the beginning. The guy that died in the beginning. So sad. Are you okay? Oh shit! Um, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he guard duties at hold 3A. Man, the, the ray that? tracing is Get so good in this see. game. Okay, all of you. What you been playing, Joe? The Anything fun? Anything interesting? There's only three of them now. I've never played this game without Conrad here, so this will be very interesting. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Oh. Thanks. Still works? Always playing Smite, but also gave in and bought Dark Tide. Ooh, I heard that's a very good game. I shouldn't have made place. my background so bright. 
It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. Yeah. Crashes often, I agree. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? <laughs> I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? Okay. I just wanted to say that... Um, if you say so. I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I... I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Oh. French. Interesting. SS blank. Steamship. What do you think this ship was? Oh, I love lore. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Creole? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But don't you worry. No, it's the SS. I'm really scared. Plot twist. It's the SS Madon. <laughs> this is very strange. Spoilers. I've already played this once on my channel. <laughs> If you've never seen this, I'm so sorry, but there's really nothing I can do. Um, hey, I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew, man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So, what do we do? Look, we need to either find a way out of this room, or we need to be ready to make a move when those fishermen come back. Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Oh, the detail. One careful. of his teeth is out of out of order, like out of line. That's really, really good detail. That's crazy. Hmm. 
Riza, hello. Oh, stretch. Hey. Yes. Look. Oh. Look at this. What's up? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. I wonder why they all left it behind. Give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it off. Good news, no tumor. Oh, thank God. Well, if God exists. I'm so glad. I'm very glad to hear that, Riza. Did that already? Stripped. You ate two times today? Work that way. <laughs> what do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Um, uh, I'm going to distract. Hey! Hey, you dumb, sweaty mongrel! <laughs> you got jeans for brains, huh? <laughs> Every one of you smells like barrel of fish eggs. That's right, your mother's all suck eggs. Hey, hey. Oh, listen, you sorcier! Assez toi et ferme ta gueule! Not the egg sucker. <laughs> uh, hide. No, replace. Fuck. Uh, it's the first of the Dark Pictures anthology. Oh, that was good. We saved them all. Uh, so what is it called? It's the first of the the four horror games. Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Come on. Ooh. There's gotta be I've never done it this way here. before. This is good. I've never actually played it with them. Being distracted like this before that's cool i got two shinies today nice i got a shiny in um sword last night that was fun i got a shiny out of nowhere i mean the amount of it just luck i got from that is crazy Ew. Penny Mamuku? Oh. Jeez. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. It's the loud noises. I can't stand loud noises like that. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, I will forever be scared by those. Let's go through here. It's just so weird that they all just 
finished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. Cargo hold two is out of bounds. Interesting. I mean, <laughs> scary. Now let's go into the room with the flickering light. Let's go. Anything in here? In here? No. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. Big boat, big engine. <laughs> big boat. What is this place? It's the engine room. Well, is there anything we can use down here? No, this is just an old piece of junk. The Duke has a newer engine. We're just gonna have to get the gap back. All right, let's take a look. Okay. I am getting hungry. I'm gonna need to get dinner soon. I didn't have any dinner. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. Now, honestly, I might just order McDonald's. <laughs> I don't ever order McDonald's, but I might. Oh, another picture. Well, Conrad was behind her there, so I don't know how that's gonna happen. We'll see. You've been craving Taco Bell? I feel that one. Ooh, it's a nice little skull. Starting to crack, dude. Keep it together. <sighs> I'm lactose some taller, but I think their cheese is super processed. It usually doesn't mess me up too much. That, that goes to show you. That's when you know when it's not real cheese, if it doesn't actually. Um, um, what's it called? <laughs> Doesn't actually, like, get you or something. It's like imitation cheese. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I don't usually order McDonald's or fast food or stuff like that, but like, I don't know, I'm just in the mood for something quick and something that's not in this house. How are you, Riza, besides the doctor's appointment? Everything going all right? I don't want to order food now, but I gotta head to bed in a minute. I see something moving down there. Yeah, up to you. Oh shit. Turn your light off, man. Shh. Everyone quiet. It's too risky. We can't go for that now. Distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? 
Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, it's on. Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. to get them caught too. This probably knows already. J'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. I got this. Alec, I mean, Fliss is still alive, it's just, you know. It's funny, I don't think that guy planned any of this. Uh, good to hear, Reason. I'm glad. What's with the makeshift chapel? Oh, good God, why do I need to see this now? I didn't hear that either, actually. Come on. Move up. forward. They really capture the long corridors very well. What is with this place? Ships are very much like this. All the time. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? No, we haven't been here before. Oh, yummy. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey, babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. I don't know about that, Alex. Oh, here comes a loud noise, probably. Yep. Jesus! Thank God! Alex, what is it? Uh see for yourself. Ugh. Hey! According to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Very true. Where are they going to go anyway? Yeah, they, I don't know what to do. Ooh. 
Yes, please. I will take hey, this Hey, easy knife. with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Keep it just in case. I mean, I don't think... I mean, it's probably going to be a last resort, but... All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we got to go through here. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Is this a uh, morgue or something? Oh dear. Took up the damn food already. They tonight was such a joke. <laughs> Um. I see a picture over here. The dark pictures. You know, you should be pictures everywhere. Oh dear. I think that's the bad version of using the knife. Wait. This isn't right. <laughs> what? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, Jesus. did you hear anything? Spoopy. Indeed. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! I never laughed at you, honey. I just said right, it was probably something before. else. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? Whoops. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. You gotta get out of your toot sweet. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What I is mean, this? Sure. Fallen soldiers, that's for sure. Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Oh. Two heads? Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave! Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. What's the matter? Shh. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Look! <laughs> Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? <laughs> Just a fucking thing. What a huge deal. Oh, this is the pathway we walked down before. 
I love it when they reuse things like this. Oh. Why so spick and span? Yeah, that's interesting. Suddenly out of nowhere, it's just like Fuck! Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Why did you touch it? Oof. Bad way to go. Yuck. At least they died in their sleep. Like, he, he's out here touching corpses. I know, like, literally, who would fucking do that? <laughs> like, come on, man. You should know better. Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. All right, I thought there was something on the thing. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. The perspective is insane with some of these. Where does this take place? On a ship. Literally on a ship. A haunted ship. Oh, this does not look remotely safe. Oh, current day. 2019? McDonald's. I'm bored. Uh, DoorDash. I'm here, just quiet. All good. I'm just gonna order some food really quick. And then he ran to me. Don't usually order a, this this late, but you know what? Fuck it. Tell me where we are going, damn it!
Okay, cool. Hey! Huh? Back off! Leave that alone. <laughs> uh, I got chicken nuggets and fries. You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? Thought why not, right? Stop. Wow, it's already being picked up. That's crazy. That's so fast. Sweet and sour? Nah. I don't really like sauce. I don't like condiments. It's weird. I, I'm such a weird person. I don't like condiments with my fries or ketchup or anything like that. Uh, I like it in a sandwich. That's pretty much it. We are just walking. If that happens, I'm gonna literally request a refund. Damn it! This fucking place is cursed. I, I saw it, Mikey. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So we are on the Madan. Shocking. What do you think what it's called? Man of Madan. I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! <laughs> Fuck. Damn loud noises. I really should turn my game down. Not on your end, on my end. Please, you don't have to do this. They just keep doing that. I know, this game is literally just, um, it's literally oh, just Christ. jump scares. Oh, that guy, that guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. You have no idea what you're talking about. Old Chinese legend. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Oh, they really nailed the... They nailed the long corridors really, really well. Oh, well, I see a picture. Hold on. Excuse me, I want to look at that photo. Come on. C'est quoi ce bordel? Okay, well, 
Can I go back and look at that picture now? I don't really care. Going to guess they were kidnapped? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, hello, boobs. Good to see you too. Where's that picture that we just went to? Hold on. I want to see the picture we just walked by. I guess it's gone forever now? Alright. You? Is anyone there? You not understanding something? I'm just joking. <laughs> Alright, my guy's on my way with my food. Oh god, this is where... <sighs> that can't be a good sign. It is a heavy rain type game, but you also haven't been here from the beginning, so if you if you were here from the beginning it would have made a little bit more sense. Oh, the fog is everywhere, I just realized that too. I saw that. No, it's okay, Reese. I'm not trying to guilt trip you. I'm just <laughs> saying. If you were here from the beginning, it would have made a little bit more sense. Ooh, yes, please. I will take the knife. Boston Mass, damn it! I mean, it's a horror game. Fun. Shit. Shit, 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 fuck, shit, fuck. All right, all right, let's go. Oh, he's Buck back. Up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on! Alright. Alright, 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 buck up. Buck it up. Buck it up, B-boy. Alright, beat it up, B. Alright. Let's do this. I'm gonna laugh, he just fell in the water. <laughs> Oh man, that would have been funny. Holy shit. This guy is very cute, I'm not gonna lie. I'm into the nerdy types. Very much so into the nerdy types. Um, where the fuck did Brad come from? He was hiding. He was hiding on the ship. Ah! 
I was hiding on the ship when it got attacked. Who's there? This can't be good. That's for him to know and for you to not know. This is Julia's. They were here. Okay. They were here. Is that nope. I think it's the best idea to go that way. Oh god, the fog. Game. Let me go forward. Thank you. Oh, this game has a really bad control problem in some places. using that from now on. Ooh, for a dollar he told me his secrets. I never got that achievement. Well, that's very um, symbolic, isn't it? Very symbolic, if I do say so myself. Fine. Uh, more dead bodies, great. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Oh. I've never seen this path before. The first time I played through this, I did not... I did not see this. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Fuck this place! You have set the gods, you will die. <laughs> God damn it. The gas mask. Not that big of a deal. Oh! 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 Okay. Didn't expect that to work. That might actually. <laughs> Smells wonderful. Give me a fucking break. Imagination's running wild, isn't it? Buck up, B boy. Buck. It's Buck. jelly. <laughs> oh, man. This part's scary because this is him actually just imagining things, and it's his. What am I hearing? It's literally just his imagination, but it really does a good, do a very good job of They're showing close. it. Defend our future. All right, my uh, food is here. Give me one second.
<laughs> my um my mother doesn't understand the concept of DoorDash. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Uh she uh she walked up to me and was like, Who is that person at the front? I said I ordered food and she What do you mean you order food? And I said, I ordered food. She's like, How did that work? And I said through the app, they deliver it to my house. <laughs> Then they go away. <laughs> I just felt like comfort food. So here it is. I usually order. What? Whatever. Let me just open this up here really quick. And then we'll keep going. Warm. Continuing forward with this. This looks... <laughs> Mustard gas! Maybe they're through here. Need something to help me get up there. At least he's resourceful. Stream dires at me. Uh, it's definitely you. I can only imagine how bad this shit must smell, honestly. It's right in front of me, I can't mind you. Alex? Julia? Hello? Oh, whoa. There's no way that you're gonna just put a light on a desk like that and say it's nothing there. Yes, I got food. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! I 
rusted shut. Ha! No. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no! One way to do it. Oh yeah, so she had just gotten right. She had just gotten um. Hey, are you sure? Well, that's good. That was good. I love it, they're like, go ahead. Go ahead, move forward with the L stick. <laughs> what is going on here? We don't actually know if Bradley is real or not with that specific thing. Bullet. Oof. Rough times. Wow, it is so dark. It's so dark in here. That was cool. <laughs> I've never seen that ending. Or I've never seen that. In God's name is this. Woo! I see a piano. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris, what's up? Not right. What is going on here? Well, yeah, it's not right because it's too fucking new. Oh, blood. Love that. Hmm. Not bad, Chris. How was stream? How was Lotro? I don't think that's funny, Terry. Terry, I, I I agree with you on that one. Oh, Morgana Le Fay symbol. This is the tea gods. <sighs> A nice little booth. Oh, stream is good. Feels good to be back streaming again. I'm glad to see you streaming again. Again, I know I can't be there for every stream, but I do when I can. Show up, I can. Ooh. Cabal! <laughs> okay. Come on, please keep your head on straight. Kind of weird how this works. This is really cool, though, the way they transition this. Ready?
Because they, they, they make it a theater, but it's not a theater. See, I would have done one today, but fuck that. I'm way too tired, Doctor, and I'm traveling. Takes too much out of me. I'm barely staying awake right now, but I wanted to watch a bit. Oh, I appreciate that, Riza. Yeah, streaming can take a lot out of you. Sure. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Casket full of blood, that's some kind of symbolism, I swear. Well, oh, the blood's coming through the wall now. Um, okay, so here's the real casket. Okay, cool. It's also just water. It's not blood. It's just water. Where the fuck is she? It's a hallucination. You'll see in a second what that means. There's the Manchurian gold! So that's what these guys were after this entire time. And the point is the gold. So a little bit of lore, the gold releases a toxin because it's not actually gold. It's just, it's, it's a, it's a, it's sulfur or some kind of sulfur. And what it does is it releases this gas, which makes you hallucinate. So that's why all these guys died is because they hallucinated a lot of this shit and then killed themselves. Pretty crazy. Oh, Mikey, hello. Did you fix your Twitch stuff? I don't know why. It sometimes it's, it might be your internet provider might be doing maintenance on a server that is reaching Twitch. I don't know. So do you have to somehow not die yourself? I mean, I'm trying to keep everyone alive. On your phone? Got it. You could also try doing a hard reset on your iPad. See, now she's hallucinating again. There's, uh, oh, there's Bradley. Hey! Brad? Captain? How did you find me? I'd say my plan of hiding from the crooks was a pretty solid move. Yeah, I'll definitely give you that one. 
I mean, now they don't know how many of us there are. Mm-hmm. What's with the gas mask? I found it in one of the lockers. I thought it would help, but I don't know. We should get out of here. All right, so now we have four people. Alex and Julia okay. are still together. Safe to say that we are now lost. It's a big ship and have a lot of corridors. I guess we just gotta explore every damn one of them until we find a way out. I mean, we just had a way out. You, you know, took the door out. <laughs> wow, that is so not what you want to have happen when you're on a boat. A leak? Yeah, no shit. We need to find a way up on deck. Hashtag my thoughts exactly. Wow, that's some ledge. Come, Brad. Come over here. Whoa. Maybe up here. I don't think we can go any lower. I'd say that's the main drive shaft. You ready? Yeah. Damn, they're strong. That looks like the way out. Cool. I wish I could say this was going to help, but it's kind of lame in every way. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Aw, tartar sauce. Well, oh fuck. boy. That's high. There's gotta be a way up on deck. No shit, Sherlock. You're catching on. I can't imagine. No, there's no way down this grate. Okay, maybe we should just go back down then. Actually, could we use this? If we can't use that, then let's just go back down maybe? I don't know. Maybe if we had something... From before. Joe Brad, check it. That ladder. That could be our ticket out of here. Oh, I see him in the back. <laughs> Wanna draw straws? I'll go. Okay. <laughs> be my guest. Dark <sighs> Pictures guy appears in the back all the damn time. <sighs> Yo, Fliss! You okay? Yeah, sure. How about you? Oh, great. That's gonna be a big help. Damn it! It's okay. Uh, maybe there's another way. Uh, I'm looking up here. There's gotta be something. Useless! Uh, the ladder is for shit. Oh no! Come on! You gotta get out of there! You got that broken shovel thing! Use that! Bust open the grate! Hurry up! The water is rising! Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, the knife! Uh, go for the hinge! Hinge? The hinge looks weak! Still gotta go though. Oh well, that gets us up anyway. The ship is still gonna sink though. Hey, hey, come on. Oh, I thought she was gonna die for a second. Oh my Help god. Me. I actually thought she was gonna die. That was weird. That was close. That was very close. I saw him in the background. I was like, oh great. There's gonna be some ridiculous decision that I'm gonna have to make in the second air. It's okay, Reza. Don't be surprised if a loud bang wakes you up, though. This game is full of them. Ah! It's very interesting. This is actually a, a, a version of the game I've never seen. Kill anybody. What? You, you okay? Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! Go! 
Again, it's hallucinations, Reza. That's the that's the interesting thing. Come on! I have never. Yeah, this is not. This is new thing. Let's run this way. I don't know. Shit. Shit. Go. Hey. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe he's gone. Oh, oh Flit. Oh, thank God. Yeah, it's me. Come on, let's go. Woo! I don't know how everyone's still alive. This is weird. I just jinxed my doll, but whatever. I think we'll be all right here. Never say that you're dumb. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. I know what you mean, Riza. I just jinxed myself or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. I mean, I didn't kill anybody yet, but we'll see. We'll see. I've already played this, so I kind of know how the ending goes, but I played it in a totally different way. One of them escaped. On because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. 
Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. I agree. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Uh, did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. What do you think actually happened to this place? Wish I knew. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I guess that's one way to look at it. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses no come kidding. from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it, how is that still great, on? That still makes works? no sense. Just need to find a way up there. Oh my god. That is a huge plot hole. That does not make any sense that that would be on after all this time. Also, hello, camera glitch. Gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're... Speaking clinically, totally effed. This part lagged like hell on my old computer. It actually looks really nice right now. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Gotta say, they look awful right now. Alright. Man, this boat has been here a while. Mikey, do you want to hang out after stream? For a little bit, anyway. Up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. to me. Oh, he's not looking anymore. Uh, my bad. Damn. How long is tonight's tree if that's okay to ask? Um, I'm trying to get through this entire episode, but I don't know. We'll have to see if, um, I'll have to see if, uh, it's supposed to be, hey. um, 
around four and a half here. hours long. So we're almost done, I think. If I remember correctly, we're almost done. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. Yeah, I mean, I'll be, um... My plan is to play the rest of the games as well. There's three more. So, and the last one just came out the devil in me. So, um, now I, I wanted to I wanted to wait to play these because I wanted to play them all in one go, as opposed to just playing episode one, then episode two, then episode three. You know? I love games like this, interactive. It's almost like interactive movies, almost. I always feel like at some point there's going to be something that just jumps out. Over here! Gotta wait through here. funny thing is like this my computer still isn't even like like sweating with this game it's like you know Like, I'm literally listening to my PC and the fans, like, the fans are turning on, but they're, like, not even that loud. Usually much louder. Oh, hold on. on the radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on the Not exactly. I'm down for that. <laughs> God damn it. Unless that's going to be uh, a vision of what's his name. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? It's possible, actually. I hear the radio. Ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Come on, this is an emergency, please.
We're on an old freighter. Our location is 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please come in. Damn. Hey, come here, look. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So, what do you think? Um. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect, big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Right, and now she has a broken leg. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Not a terrible idea. Hey. After you. I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Sick bay, oh great. They were playing hide and seek because they were a warship. Not when you're heading straight to San sort Francisco. Of <laughs> uh, but a good good idea though, anyway. Alright, let's see here. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, uh, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore. Like, like ever. I'm gonna say no. Not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Hmm. Might have been the son oh, of Oh, it's the son of that guy at the beginning. God damn it. Oh, right. This is where he woke up. Oh, right. Oh, Jesus. Right, this is where he woke up. Damn. Um, that's kind of the goal, Mikey, but I don't know if I can, because it's like, it's almost midnight and I'm getting 
not tired, but I'm getting, like, tired of being alive. So, what I might do is I might bring this through for another time. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... Wait, wait, didn't you see it? Ugh. Hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold. Welcome back, Reza. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years, and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Yes, a hallucinogenic, a hallucinogenic bioweapon made in China. Sounds about right. Because those things would definitely cause... You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. And what's even funnier is the fact that we see the, the, we can see the gas. It's all over the ship. It's, I mean, we can see it right now. Hey, hey, I found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working! Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Please state your situation, over. We need help! Now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us! Over! A recovery mission is being pricked. Please say what side of the vessel you're on. Over. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge, and old. Help is on the way. Oh, come on, work, dammit! At least we know they're coming anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we probably will eventually, Ariza, but who knows. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Dead weight. No. 
Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur Ferme ta gueule de merde Tu dis n'importe quoi Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde mmh. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça Ta gueule ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule Oh, there's the thing. Oh, he's seeing hallucinations too. Good to know. He's got this giant ass hammer and it's gonna be so... Yeah, hopefully not as bad as Resident Evil, I agree. Why would he do this? We have to be very careful. He's crazy as a shit house rat. Wait. Uh 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 inspect. There is no gold. We have to go around more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I'm the captain now. Fuck! Totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Okay. okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Please. We've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! 
Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! I'm not gonna say anything. It's inside now! Inside with us! Now! Please, just calm down! Stop! Stop! Just shut up, honey. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down, now! Stop! Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! Okay, all, all right, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. I, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look. We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. I'm not going to do anything. Stop! Stop lying! You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. Is it in me alive? Uh. Hey, man. Come on. Just put the... Better than the other alternative. Shit. Okay. Last time I played this, I got them killed, both of them. So I'm very glad that I didn't do that. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. Oh, shit. Big guy. He had the distributor cap. We gotta go after him. I see the guy in the back over there. God damn, this is intense. This is a totally different game than what I played. The first time I played this was a totally different experience. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Oh, hello! No? Let's see how uh, text to speech reads German. <laughs> ich bin hier. Hello. Ich bin hier. What's up, Mega? How are you?
Thank you for the 54 months. I appreciate it so much. How are you doing? We're playing Man of Medan. Man of Adon. This must have been what we just heard. <sighs> oh no, what's that? Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. Mist is everywhere. Holy crap. Look at that shit. There he is. I think we can make it across. Sure. Oh, I don't know about that one. Okay, I guess we're doing this. A, X. Oh fuck! Oh, boy. There's something here. Nega, oh. I will definitely uh, view the cutscene after this stream, but I don't know if you're around if you want to hang out after. I'd be down. Oh. Is he dying of fear? Oh, nice. I'm not gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. I mean, you could theoretically come this way, couldn't you, and just walk across the- Oh my god, I can't. I really can't. There's an invisible barrier! You just sleep for early skiing tomorrow? Oh, okay. Well, it's up to you. I'm not gonna be too much longer. Hello. Ghost of, um, Bradley. Yeah, I'm not gonna be too much longer, so don't worry. I'm literally towards the end, actually. Of the game. I can't finish the game tonight, I'm gonna just finish it next time. Lore! Go, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm discovering a lot more this playthrough than I did last time. Like this, again, this, this, this second playthrough has been, so far, a totally different experience than the first time I played this. What made this so interesting is I saved one of them right at the beginning, which I didn't expect to happen. I think I came this way. Yeah, I did. So, like, not having that other party member has completely changed this because it's literally been just all different scenarios than I had before. It's very odd. Oh! Fuck! Ugh. Oh, the distributor cap is there. God damn it, man. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. B? Uh, A? Okay. Oh, God!
Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You aren't real. <gasps> oh no, what happened? I think it's safe to say that that was a hallucination in my stomach. Which is really good that I didn't stab myself. I- that was what my gut told me. Okay, I'm glad. Oh. Ugh. I've never seen that cutscene. That was very unusual. Oh, I shouldn't have done anything. Fucking damn it. I don't know if that was real or not. You know what? I shouldn't have done anything. I swear, if that was the final encounter and that actually was a kill, I'm gonna be fucking furious. I didn't kill anybody until the very last move. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Okay, I guess it's time to see if it's working. Ruined my entire experience with this. Oh well. Whatever. This place.
Is it abandoned? Hello? Alex, Julia, are you guys here? Oh no. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. So, um, I found this. So I did kill her by accident. God damn it. So the brother probably. Oh man, so now he's back in the boat. Oh, he's just left there. Fuck. One death, one gone missing. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. <laughs> so creepy, I love it. All right. Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare Not me bad. over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare Not bad. All right, so one death. Oh, is this the epilogue? Finding out what happened to what's his name. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Never seen that one. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was. That's next. Okay, very good. Who's there? I fashioned her with my own hand. <laughs> Seriously though, what a place to name a town. Little Hope is the name of the town. <laughs> what a name for a, a... What a name for a thing, yeah, seriously. Alright! We're about to have some dropped frames because I'm uploading my save file to the cloud here in a second. Oh, never mind, it's very quick, I guess. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining me for that tonight.
I appreciate y'all very much, and I appreciate y'all being here. So, let's go take a look and see who I can throw y'all off to tonight. Um, next time we come back, we will be doing probably either um, Cyberpunk or we'll do Man of Madon. Sorry, um, Little Hope. Um, these games are like four hours, so like I can do them in one stream, which is really awesome. Um, uh, so I enjoy that very much, so... Actually, let's do this one here. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send you guys over to this guy that I know called Black Channel is his name. Um, he is a very fun guy. Um, he's actually somebody I met on the platform years ago, and, um, he's a very fun guy, he's an LGBT streamer as well, um, and he, he is playing Red Dead Redemption, which is one of my favorite open world games ever, um, so, uh, I'm very excited for that as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head out, and we're gonna come back with this series next time. Um, I'm just gonna truck through these games, because these, these have been on my list forever, and I just wanna get them out of the way, so, uh... Of course, get them out of the way and do really well with them and have a lot of fun with them. Not that when I say get them out of the way, that makes it sound like I just want to like play through them for the sake of it. But it's not true. I want to enjoy them too. That second playthrough of that Man of Madon was um, so different from the first time I played the game. Oh my god, completely different playthrough. Um, which is great because that just shows the replay value of these. Um, but yeah, take care, folks. Have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Send Black Channel my love, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye Love you all. Be kind to one another. Take care, folks.